Hi, this is Mrs. Freifeld, and I'm going to give you your first lesson on percent bar graphs. If you can remember in elementary school, most kids made a circle graph with M&Ms or Skittles or something, and you had a little bag, and you tore it open, and you counted how many of each color you had, and you made something that looked like this. Well, we're not. We're going to fill in this chart, and we're going to find out what fraction of each color that you had, and then we're going to go ahead and change it to a percent to complete this circle graph. The first thing we do is we count the M&Ms, and I see that I have 20 of them. So that's my denominator. And since I'm talking about red, my numerator for that is going to be 4. So 4 twentieths of that bag is red. I can go ahead and complete it for the rest. I have 5 twentieths that are blue. 5 twentieths that are green, 4 twentieths are yellow, and I have 2 twentieths that are pink. The next step would be to change that fraction to a percent. The first thing you need to do is TBO or divide, change the fraction to a decimal, and then move your decimal point two places to the right to make it a percent. So I'm going to go ahead and complete that column, and you can see that 20 percent are red, you can see 25% are blue. I have 25% that are green, 20% that are yellow, and 10% that are pink. And when you add up all the percents, it should equal 100% because that would be the entire bag. A percent bar graph is when you take that circle graph that you made and you kind of pound it out into a bar. So it's like a rectangle, and at the bottom of the rectangle you can see it goes from 0%, which would be none of the M&Ms, to 100%, which would be all of the M&Ms in the bag. And you would divide it up based on the percent, not the number of pieces of candy, but the percent. So if you have 20% that are red, you see that it goes 10 and 20. And for 25% that are blue, it would be 10, 20, and 25%. Okay, I want to show you some things that are kind of obvious that will help you solve problems on the star test a little easier, I would think. And that is to get rid of the obvious choices that are wrong. So if I had that percent bar graph down here at the bottom, and I wanted to know, does that data go with this does it match data A or does it match data B? Well, the first thing I would look at in column A is that the purple one is 6, and it's the biggest number, so it should have the biggest part of the bar graph. And I look down here, does it? No, it doesn't. So I can automatically eliminate it. Now, I know the answer is B, but I want you to look at something in B. 6 should have had the biggest um, amount colored in on the bar percent bar graph, and it does. And also notice that you can notice that the green and the teal color are equal. Well, if you look at this, they are equal. You can do it either by looking at it or counting it. 10, 20 percent, and 10 and 20 percent. So I can tell that that is the correct answer. Let's try that again because this will help you later on. First, we're going to check out data in the A column. And I can see in both A and B, the purple is the biggest color. And I look down at the percent bar graph, and I see that purple is the biggest color, so I can't really use that. I, now I'm going to go to the A, and I'm going to see that it says that red and blue should be the exact same size. And I look down here and I see that red is bigger than blue. Now oh, that takes care of that. It's not A. The answer is B. And now what I want to look at is this one. This one there is nothing obvious about these. If you look at it here, purple should be the biggest on in the graph. And if you look at each percent bar graph, purple is the largest. So I can't really use these tricks that I know. And in this particular case, what I need to do is actually find out what 
percent these colors are. What I'm going to do first to find the percent is, is I need a fraction. So if I add up all the different colors, I have a total of 25, and that would be my denominator. And then I'm going to look down here, and you can see that I chose teal to find the percent of teal. And I did that because they're all different sizes. It would be kind of harder to do it if I chose red because those are kind of close. Green I didn't choose because A and B for green are both the same size. So I wanted a color that was different in every one of those percent uh, in the percent bar graph. So I chose teal and that's why my numerator is 2. The next thing is to go ahead and change that fraction to a decimal. And I do that by T-bowing. And you can see over on the left that that's what I've done. I've T-bowed it. And I found out that 2 25ths is equal to 8 hundredths or 0 0.08. And now to change that to a percent, I move the decimal point two spaces to the right, and it makes it 8%. Now go over and look at the teal. Is that 8%? No, it's 10%. I look at this one. Is this 8%? It looks like it looks it. That could be that one. But let's check the last one. Is this 8%? No, it absolutely is not 8%. It's 5% or less. So the correct answer to this one is B. You did a great job.